maybe that'll keep it from, it wants to tip. Ooh, old car. Old cars. Um, so I am taking off the stuff. Don't really, I didn't want to go like, this morning. I actually woke up on my own at 6.30. Um, <laughs> it's a bad COVID day. I have the coughing really bad today. Hopefully if I run my mouth long enough, it won't. Um, yeah, I just start coughing and gagging. I almost threw up twice before I even left my driveway. So, um, I just went to City Hall, took care of all of the electricity for the current house we're in, for the new house, um, and then, uh, oh, and then I went downstairs to the police station to get the reports, and I sat there and read them, and it is definitely good. Um, and uh, the last one was really detailed and it, it's the one where the cop was the most frustrated at this point so um, yeah I am now headed to go file the paperwork at the uh, courthouse uh, I have to drive 45 minutes to do that but it's 45 minutes so it's not too bad then what do I need to do oh I need to go to the dollar store and Walmart because I need paint <clears throat> and I'll be in Oregon so then I won't pay taxes on top of it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. My ears are popping. Uh, I contacted <clears throat> Dollar Tree yesterday because my I ordered on the 27th of last month and even yesterday until I talked to them, uh, I, um, it wasn't changing, it just said it was in progress. Like, all I did was order it. Uh, so, I was like, yeah. Um, and then I called Joni this morning, who was trying to call me. Her phone is all kinds of whacked out. So, I need to, um, oh, I, I need to take her, her new phone, but that won't be in until, I think, Friday. I can't go Friday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And probably Monday and Tuesday, I am going to be busy. Um, I am going to try to knock out the uh, cleaning of the walls and the painting. That is number one priority right now. Um, ceilings. They have ceiling fans in there, so they'll need to be cleaned. I ordered stuff through Target to be delivered. Uh, some of it wasn't available at my local Target. And I've got two that are local, uh, but they're both an hour and a half away. Roughly. Probably doesn't even it's probably an hour away. But I don't have to go there until this coming Sunday. And so I'm not going to <clears throat> make extra trips because neither one of the store has had one item. I don't remember what it is. <sighs> so I checked our supply. We have enough, obviously, paper towels and toilet paper. We have... plastic silverware because I have no idea in our storage unit 
where some of that stuff is. Like our actual, why did I say that? I meant the paper plates because I got plenty of metal silverware. But I'm, it needs to be less than that or it needs to be plastic. I can't think today. It needs to be plastic because it'll just be thrown away and we won't have to worry about it too much. So, I never did ask Anthony what he found out about the dumpster. And I already called him. I don't want to bug him. Um, so, <clears throat> I don't feel good. I haven't eaten. Maybe that's part of the problem, but I'm phlegmy. And, like, my ears are plugged up. And it's just, it is what it is. Um, so, oh god, it's been officially two months since I've shown the first COVID symptom. Actually, probably, uh, two months in a day, because I think I started on, uh, June 9th, uh, just feeling icky. So, um. So I figured, and I don't know why I didn't think of it, and I guess it's a good thing I have to go. And we were waiting until last minute to have the paint. And now, since we are days away from having the keys, which it sounds really bad, we don't need, because I'm switching all of the locks. Um, uh, I need to get the little things that I need in order to get this going. Got the gas done yesterday. I don't know if I mentioned that. And it's just like chugging along. And I, I said, you know, and they were talking about like the paint and finding the appliances stressed me out. So um, he said, you know, stuff like that for him is not a problem. This is going to sound really bad. Oh, I do have hand sanitizer before I go in. Um, I can't spend money like he can. Like, yeah, sometimes he has bought frivolous things. But if he sees there's a need, he doesn't think twice. Me, I'm thinking, can I get it cheaper? Can I get a different one? Can I save money? Like, this is a lot of money. So when I bought the stove, it was a little hard. Like, wanted to vomit. Like, so, and his thing was, get the biggest oven. This one has five burners and is 6.3 cubic feet uh, for oven. And so it's self-cleaning. It's got that blue coating on the inside, which is, I guess, better for non-stick and cleaning. And our biggest thing, we both agreed on, we did not want an element in the bottom of it. And he goes, well, convection is so much better. of the real stove that I want. I want gas on top and electric oven. So I'm like, oh my gosh, it's going to be up there. Well, those ovens that I really want are about $3,000. They are there. They are expensive. Uh, don't quote me, but it, I did see one that was like 32. So that one I, I never could justify. And I, I don't even think if I became a millionaire, I could justify it. But, so, he was like, convection is really good. And I was like, yes, convection is really good. 
because the elements behind something and it's hot air didn't notice until after I bought it it also is an air fryer and I was like well that feels silly because I have three um, the one I would never get rid of point blank no two of them okay I would consider the grill one um, because I have the big ninja that's all one compartment the top lips lifts off and it's a air fryer and griddle uh, it's not big enough to feed I was gonna say five but even if Lex does come over technically that'll make it six but you know it really is tiny I would consider <clears throat> selling that one <clears throat> but past that the two drawer one the boys use it all the time throw chicken nuggets in there throw a burrito you know uh, we've gone out and they've had food left over put it you know put it in there french fries because McDonald's isn't always you know warm and it, it does really good for heating up like McDonald's french fries and there's been like one time I had to bring Xander over to Pendleton a few months ago and uh, that's what we did. Uh, Connor asked me to stop at Wendy's. Xander wanted to stop at Wendy's and Connor wasn't with us. So I brought his food back. Well, he wanted french fries because, well, it's Wendy's french fries, duh. And so um, he just popped them in the air fryer and they were perfect and crispy and fluffy inside. So I don't think I would get rid of that one. And then the other one I have is a rotisserie, which I think so far is the only thing I have used it for. And it is amazing. I have done two chickens at one time. I didn't have the, I want to say, uh, it's twine. Um, but like last night I had a pork loin and it had a little bit of skin on it and it crisped up beautifully. It was juicy and um, I definitely am still learning on some things like I ended up doing 47 minutes. It wasn't long enough. I googled just a generic recipe just to see and she said hers was four pounds and mine was almost five so it took another I want to say 20 minutes past that and so you know I'll keep that in the the air fryer database in my head and I've had people that have bought an air fryer from me or have gotten an air fryer from me call and go hey I'm doing this how long and like Tina that that was their Christmas gift and I just sent it out um, early and I was like hey you know did you know you can do bacon bacon's amazing I said it gets a little smoky so don't be alarmed and she's like dude you know the next time she did it she was like how long what temperature and I was like I just do whatever pops up 360 370 I was like I'd have to go look at the ninja to know um, and I do 11 minutes I think I told her 12 I was like and it just depends on how done you want your bacon I have found that on air fry turning down to 11 is perfect and about the seven minute mark I'll because I cook my I've cooked scrambled eggs and toast with it don't know why that was the most amazing breakfast um, at 743 I'll start the eggs because I cook them low and slow because they are protein and then I can turn them off when the air fryer says two minutes and then I'll start my toast and everything is pretty much coming out and everything's warm and so it's it's been a lifesaver and it's healthier all the grease gets out of the bacon you're not getting popped so health reasons all around <laughs> so um, it is what it is but I was like well 
though I'm not I'm happy but I'm not not like looking for an oven that has an air fryer feature um, and this one was a really good price compared to all of the other 6.3s it was about $300 cheaper and so I was like you know air fry whatever I don't care that's fine but then I was thinking I have a family of four those two drawers don't feed family of four like I love asparagus in it Connor and I and Anthony all love broccoli in it I love Brussels sprouts I'm the only one Anthony eats them every once in a while but they make him like bubble gut so he doesn't do it very often um, you know it's just like the boys don't eat asparagus so in that aspect those two drawers perfect for Anthony and I a little olive oil salt and pepper and keep it very simple and so yeah like there is little I have to do but the oven style air fryer I'm going to be able to like the other day I just baked off french fries we were having um, barbecue chicken burgers um, and <clears throat> I just put french fries in the oven and um, sorry uh, they weren't they weren't bad <clears throat> but they weren't good and I use my misto a lot for olive oil and I just spray it on anything that's going in little salt and pepper pink salt Sometimes I won't do pepper. I didn't do pepper on the french fries. And pop them in the oven. Yeah, I cooked them at 450, but still, you know, after 15 minutes, they were not crisp. They were done. They were fluffy on the inside. They were good. They're just not amazing. So I like the aspect thinking, you know, I can make a bag of french fries and we will have air fried french fries but i am i am keeping to doing healthier options every once in a while i don't think you should deprive yourself of what you want like when i first wanted to uh lessen the sugar intake as i drink dutch bros um like chocolate uh, chocolate isn't a weakness of mine. Peanut butter cups, a little more, but I am a, I'm a weirdo. I will take off all of the chocolate and eat just the peanut butter. I don't want anything else. And so what I'm thinking is like when I crave something like that, why can't I do Rice Krispies and a little bit of peanut butter? It's crunchy. You know, you get that <coughs> good peanut butter. Uh, and it doesn't have all of the other stuff in it so I might try that but yeah peanut butter cups freezer then the chocolate is easy to pop off and someone else in my house always eats it so it doesn't go to waste or anything Anthony or the kids just depends on, on who uh, did it but I could have eaten probably a king size which is like four cups then when I was really starting to watch what I eat then I was going no don't eat it but then I really wanted it and when I finally did give in I wanted to eat the whole thing so I learned very quickly for me at least if I want something I'll do it. Uh, wanted a Reese's peanut butter cup. This is like last month. I haven't had one. Oh God, maybe it's been four months. And so what did I do? I opened up the two pack, took a bite, spit it out. It was the grossest thing to me. I was like, nope. And handed it off. Every once in a while, I crave a whatchamacallit. Uh, a payday which is a no-go for me 
I cannot have peanuts anymore. I can have peanut butter and that's because of my gut stuff. I can't have whole peanuts. Uh, wanted cashews. Miss. I miss honey roasted peanuts. So, the other day I saw a bag of honey roasted pistachios. Yeah. No. That is not in any manner the same. So I should have gone with cashews. I still can eat cashews. I don't know why cashews, maybe because it's a softer nut, uh, doesn't irritate my bowel, knock on wood, and I don't have any. Knock on wood for me. But cashews are healthier for you. I don't know opposed to peanuts, if they're any healthier than peanuts. But, you know, instead of having a bag of chips. So I have bought an industrial size like box of chips. I buy the kids their own. They have granola bars like I bought recently and it, it probably is fattening. Uh, Golden Grahams bars. And so um, I bought them. I was like, I love these. I've eaten one and the rest are almost gone because Xander every once in a while, every few days will, hey, can I have a Golden Grand Bar? Yep. Didn't want it anymore. But, so I buy them chips in bulk. I bought my chips in bulk. Mind you, my chips are the, I can picture them. So it, it's a combination, but I don't know if anyone remembers Munchos, Munchums. And I get the baked Lay's. So it's like baked Lay's, barbecue, uh, Cheetos. There's one more. Sour cream and onion. No, it's green. Cheddar cheese. So I'm like, these are good for me. I have a, okay, I have a weakness for Fritos. Uh, so in the bags, Fritos. I will steal out the Fritos. The kids know, Mom, can I have these or do you want them? And most of the time, I don't tell my kids no. They need to eat. So, um, but I have gotten into it. Every once in a while, I crave Doritos. And I eat four or five and I'm done. Uh, got little packs, individual packs of goldfish because... No one can sit down and just eat a bag of them. And I'm sorry, once you open them, they seem to just go stale no matter what you do with them. It looks like a hot air balloon. Oh, we're almost to that point, aren't we? Anyway, um, I'm going to end up having to make this log into two because I went on a rant about <laughs> how we're eating and I have lost more weight. I could lose more. The thyroid definitely, um, I need to be retested, but the medication isn't making it function properly. Amy is not making it fun function properly because I don't always take my medicine. Um, there are some nights where I am just exhausted and I go to sleep instead of taking it. And that is my fault, so I have no one to blame but my thyroid does kind of stop some of it. I don't gain weight. I kind of just plateau and just stay there, which is good. I'm not gaining, but I'd like to drop some more. And I thought about talking to the doctor and I have taken once in my life diet pills and it was prescribed from a doctor and he was like, you can only take it for three months. You can extend it if you don't take it every day. So I took it twice a week and the amount of side effects were a little gross considering, you know, some of them. Uh, not the most pleasant thing, but I did lose some weight. It was, wasn't enough for me to continue taking the medication. So I stopped taking it. I didn't gain any of it back. And so, thank you, thyroid, on that. And 
then I lost 20 pounds from having COVID. I don't understand how that works because I forced myself to still eat at least twice a day. And so my body makes no sense. <laughs> but I, I'm making healthier choices. We, uh, so like, probably save it for Monday. Um, I have a free Domino's medium pizza. I will probably use it and have Anthony bring it home because Monday we will be at the house working. Um, I gotta remember to take over fans and what have you. And I did find out when we went to the house that the frames are good, but I need, oh, not but, I'll just need the uh, doors itself. The framing looked good. And so, yeah, that'll be our next thing um, that we need to do no later than Friday. So, um, if we can't find doors, we're going to have to go to Home Depot and get doors there. I got two doors for inside. We're going to try change them to um, like barn style sliders. So, yeah. It's going to be a fun project. But the bathroom has no door. The bedroom has two entryways no door on either one uh, and then we're flipping the front bedroom into our bedroom and I think we might have enough room to do a combination and have like a I'm trying to think and my brain is not working right now like a, a living room too. Might just have to get like a small chair or two. Um, I'll look at the furniture store actually and look while I'm here. And oh, we have one in our town too. Never mind. I was like, I don't want to go pay taxes on furniture on top of it because sometimes it's negotiable. Like Walmart, no big deal. I'm going to spend more in gas coming here. And if you got ice cream, you don't want to travel 45 minutes with ice cream. So, um, there's that. But, uh, now I'm on a totally different tirade. <sighs> Come on. Shoo, 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 shoo. <laughs> We're here, and I am a couple of blocks away, and I'm not sure where I need to go, but I think I have to go upstairs to file the paperwork. I don't know why I feel nervous all of a sudden. So, sorry this was a two-parter, but it ended up being a lot longer than I didn't think I was going to ramble this long. Um, yeah, so I love you guys. Wish me luck.